The monster within me was getting stronger, and while I could not save myself, I could spare others. A Houston police sergeant reading a portion of the suicide note found in Carnell Moore's suitcase. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. Investigators are releasing news detail or new details rather about a shooting at George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston. They say 29 year old Carnell Moore of Beaumont walked into Terminal B yesterday, fired shots from a handgun and then shot himself to death when a Homeland Security officer fired at him. Moore did not hit anyone. Investigators say in his suicide note, he explained he wanted to show mercy to the public. KFTM reporter Justin Hinton is looking into Moore's action. Carnell Marcus Moore's final odyssey began Tuesday morning in Beaumont, Texas. The Houston Police Department provided a timeline of the events leading up to Carnell Marcus Moore's death Thursday afternoon. A Houston detective says it started in Beaumont Tuesday. He says he was infatuated with the woman who works at an apartment complex where Moore was employed. He, in effect, kidnapped her at gunpoint and uh, wanted her to take him to Houston, Texas. She somehow talked him out of doing any further harm to her, and he released her. Two days later, he was at George Bush Intercontinental Airport. Investigators say he drew his weapon, a Glock semi-automatic pistol, and fired two times into the air. No one was hit. The Homeland Security agent then confronts Carnell Moore, gives several commands, and then he is forced to discharge his weapon as well. Moore ended up turning the gun on himself and died. A neighbor and friend says he's puzzled by Moore's behavior. The way he's being betrayed, that's not the man that we knew. And Another, like I said, another side needs to be looked at besides that he was a person that run up in a airport and, and start shooting it. Byron Collier lives across the street from the house where Moore lived. He says police details of holding a woman at gunpoint and the Facebook messages that seem to foreshadow Moore's plans don't add up. Person, I guess, that we knew walking back and forth from the store here, uh, yelling, hello and how you doing across the street that he would even tie something like that. Uh, I don't know. But he does know how difficult the last few days have been for everyone who knew more, especially his family. They, they really need some peace right now and give them a, a time to deal with the death of their brother and son and go from there. In Boma, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Investigators are still trying to figure out why Moore did what he did. They're looking at his computer to see if it provides any more details.